Just a reminder that this and all my other videos are made for doll collectors or adults buying dolls for others. This is not a video for children. Viewer discretion is advised. Thank you very much for listening. Hello Internet! My name is Kelsey and welcome back to my closet. So this video is going to be a little bit different. I wanted to talk about some interesting Barbie things that I remember having when I was younger. Unfortunately, it seems I don't actually have as many of them left as I thought I did to show you, but I did want to talk about some of the interesting toys that Barbie put out during the 90s and early 2000s that they just don't really do anymore. Barbie used to have so many many themed items that I, like I said, I had, more so than even I remember having for brats. I thought this would be a fun trip down memory lane, something outside of the box of unboxing, no pun intended, and hopefully something a little bit nostalgic for you guys as well. So anyway, first I wanted to talk about one of my absolute favorite things that I used to play with, the Barbie video camera. Or, as the official name states it, the video cam wireless video camera. And I am so annoyed because I swear that I kept the camera itself, but either I didn't or I just have no idea where it is. All I could find was the VHS tape that it came with. And I used this tape so many times. If I tried to play it, if I ever got myself a VCR, I don't know what would be on it, and I don't know if it would work. As you can see, we've got a very 2000s logo for Barbie on the tape itself, and if we look at what some of the pictures of the actual product look like, it has a very early 2000s vibe to it. But this was so much fun. The way it worked was that you have the camera, and it literally did record. It was just that you didn't record directly onto the camera, or to a memory card. You had to set up the camera and then plug in the receiver to your VCR, have the tape loaded into the VCR, and I think you had to have it on the recording setting. There was also a microphone that you had to have plugged in or you wouldn't get any sound. And so you would go around and record on the camera and the camera was seeing what was in front of it, but it was transmitting the image to the receiver which was then recording onto the tape. So the problem with this item was that there was a very limited range that you could actually use it because if the camera signal couldn't get to the receiver, you weren't gonna get anything recorded. As you can see on the front of the tape here too, I wrote my own label in my really bad handwriting. It says Becky and Kelsey stuff because I specifically used this with my best friend at the time named Becky over and over and over again. So I'm sure this tape is just super worn out. I don't know if it would work because it's so old. I don't know if it would be overlapping some things that had been recorded, but I, I wish I had a VCR. I would love to watch what was on here if it's still played. But I just remember having so much fun and we recorded over and over and over again. That was probably a jumping point for <laughs> me now becoming a YouTuber or, you know, trying over the years. Because I've told the story before that I I've had multiple attempts at having a YouTube channel before this one actually succeeded. So that's kind of like a little origin story there. It all started with the Barbie video camera. This item <laughs> has seen better days. This is a Barbie jewelry box, or the official name, the Barbie talking jewelry box. As you can see, mine is extremely sun damaged. This was sitting on my dresser in my old house for years and years. Even when I got rid of other things on the dresser, the jewelry box remained for some reason. And miraculously, you can still <laughs> press the button and make it talk. These batteries have never been changed. How are they still working? It's been like 25 years at least. Anyway, she just said jewelry is fun. You look pretty. Great look. 
and that's it she just says three things and apparently that's barbie's voice and it doesn't even sound distorted from what i remember from my childhood so that's kind of amazing now there's a bunch of crap in here that is not anything special it's just like kitty jewelry that i had that i never wanted to give away but it did have a lot of storage because there's a lot of crap in here the bottom you can put stuff and then you close up these pieces which also have some storage. There was a little mirror up here, and this is where the batteries go. And then you just close it and slide the heart around, and voila, there it is. So as you can see, this is the color it's supposed to be, because that's the part that never faced the sun. Oh, I love this. Barbie for girls. <laughs> okay, Barbie, tell that to all of the boy doll collectors that are collecting nowadays. This next item I'm having a hard time getting some good pictures of, but this is the My Very Own Vanity by Barbie. You can be pretty as can be as my very own Barbie vanity. Beautiful! With makeup, jewelry, and hairbrush. Parents put it together, sunglasses, crown, and doll not included. Another item that I had in my room as basically a piece of furniture for the longest time, that I definitely do not have anymore. But it was a really cool item, especially because it had a miniature vanity on the right side that was Barbie size. So you and Barbie could be doing your makeup at the same time. I'm pretty sure it came with some child makeup because I remember my friend from preschool coming over and we just slathered it all over our faces and it had that waxy kid makeup taste to it. But even after the makeup was pretty much dried up and everything, I still used the chair and the vanity as part of my room for a long, long time. But it was really cool, very Barbie, but very princessy too because it had the pink satin cushion on the chair and the fancy shaped mirror. This was just a really fun set. It may have even come with some child jewelry as well. I, I just, I don't really remember. It probably did. Knowing Barbie stuff from the 90s, it probably did. All right, next we have the Barbie super talking phone and answering machine from 1996. This was another one that was a lot of fun because you could put the different tapes into the top part and it would play different messages. It wasn't based on the tapes. There was nothing in there that I recall that you could get it to recognize which tape was in there, but there were a lot of pre-recorded messages, so it felt like every time you switched the tape out, you were listening to something new. And of course, you could dial numbers and hear things come up, and there were other buttons so you could hear a ringtone or the dial tone or the busy signal. Just a really super fun toy, and back in the day when people used actual phone phones, it was a good way to teach a kid how to use a phone, how to answer a phone, how to to leave a message or listen to a message, you know, it, it was a way of teaching kids about phones. This was before the days of cell phones where everyone had their own phone and just automatically knew how to use it out of the womb. This is definitely a product of its time and probably something we'll never see again because of that. Ah yes, the Barbie cash register. Barbie shop with the cash register. Price it, charge it, buy it. with me cash register comes with everything you see here specifically the shop with me cash register from 1999 i loved this cash register <laughs> and my brother broke it i don't remember what he did exactly i just remember that he broke it and i was pissed because it was one of my favorite things to play with it's funny that i had a lot of barbie toys that were not the dolls that I liked playing with a little bit more than the Barbies themselves, but I just adored 
this cash register. There have been other Barbie cash registers since this one, but the nostalgia for me is always gonna win out. Plus, the fact that this one had a microphone on it. So you could sound like you were making an announcement to the store. I had so much fun with this. There were also little tags that it came with that you would scan with the hand scanner so that you were ringing up your items. It would give you your total and then it would open and you would put the money in or take the money out to give change. It was first of all a great way to teach kids how to make change and how to know that they need a certain amount of money to buy stuff but it was just fun it was just fun to scan the different things and see it pop up on the screen okay you're buying a pair of pants there it is on the screen pants for however much it was that it was using actual barcode technology i had so much fun with this I played with it for hours. <laughs> Looking at it now, it also almost makes me want to buy it back again. Okay guys, so that's all of the stuff that I specifically remember having that was Barbie related that were not actual dolls. I don't know, I'm probably missing some stuff that I had that I just don't remember at this point. I only brought up the things that really stuck out in my mind as some of my favorite non-doll Barbie products. And obviously I missed tons and tons of other things that maybe you guys guys had so let me know first of all if you had anything that I mentioned in this video and then if I didn't mention it what interesting Barbie toy did you have growing up or other doll related things from Bratz or Monster High or whatever I would love to know so anyway hope you liked this kind of video I know it was different but I thought it was a refreshing little change. So thanks so much for watching. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends, and until next time, bye!